Greetings Raiders, this is Vespa, and welcome to my guide for Delubrum Regine Savage. This video will be focusing on one of the first encounters of DRS, Slime Side. Though there are strategies that can be modified for undersized groups, the general principles for successfully completing this encounter will remain the same. When you enter the instance, you will go down the stairs and see the Lost Actions Cache. Make sure you have prepared the lost actions that you need and have your holster loadout ready before leaving, because you will not be able to come back here. The raid will then split to either the east or the west side. As we are on slime side, we will hop to the teleporter on the left hand side of the cache, which will take us west to the abandoned barracks. Here, players will be assigned their rooms and responsibilities. Those players assigned perception will use this lost action to detect traps. There are two types of traps. The yellow ones will one-shot players and anyone close by, and the purple ones are poison traps. There will be three traps in total, with one trap guaranteed to be in the hallway. The players assigned to use perception will do so at the most suddenly corners to cover the southwest and the southeast rooms. If they receive a message that says you sense a concealed trap nearby, that means a trap is in that room, but it will not have been revealed to other players. As such, when the encounter begins, perception players know they will need to use perception in that room to fully reveal the trap. If you receive a message that says you don't sense a trap, that room does not have one. If you get that message when checking both of the southern rooms, this confirms that both traps are in the northern rooms. To deal with these, we can reveal and ignore them, taking care not to touch them. Or, a tank can use an immunity and run through the trap if they know they won't be using it for this encounter. Just make sure to let your party members know so they won't be standing close by and also get hit by it. If something has gone wrong or players are waiting for their perception players to reveal the traps, you can generally be safe if you hug the walls. Waymarks will be placed to ensure all parties know where they need to go and what their assigned roles are. All DPS players will be assigned to a room and have the simplest job. In your assigned room, periodically sanguine clots, also known as red slimes, will spawn in. They will tether to the first person who attacks it. The DPS player's job is to ensure it tethers to a DPS player, who will bring it to the far corner of the room and they will kill it as soon as possible. Red slimes should never be allowed to merge or fuse with any other slimes at all costs as this will result in a wipe. If for some reason the red slime starts casting fusion, it should be interrupted. To clarify, DPS players should only be attacking the red slimes and nothing else. If you are a tank or healer assigned to the north or south of the hallway, you only need to worry about the Bojan soldiers. They will spawn periodically on the platforms at the far ends of the hallway. Assigned tanks should establish aggro and DPS them down. They will cast an AoE called Hellish Slash, which must be interrupted, due to it having a knockback effect which can throw slimes in its path to fuse with other slimes, which we don't want. It will also give you a ruin stack. At this point of DRS, getting three stacks will result in a doom. Generally speaking, these soldiers auto attack for low damage, but there will be a healer assigned to look after the tank's HP and help them DPS down the soldier. Now, the main objective of Slime Side is to merge Viscous Clots, also known as Green Slimes, into four large green slimes and make them enrage on four green platforms at the same time. To do this, we follow a calculated step-by-step -step approach. Before the doors open, we will mark the slime tanks with a number to make keeping track of them and callouts easier. Periodically, three green slimes will spawn in the hallway. When the slimes get close to each other, they will cast fusion, which can be silenced. Keep in mind that the larger a green slime gets, the harder it hits and the slower it moves. The first tank will grab three green slimes that initially spawn in the hallway and take them to their room in the northwest. Tank 2 will then grab three green slimes and take them to the northeast room. Tank 3 will grab three green slimes and take it to the southeast room. Tank 4 will grab three green slimes and take them to the southwest room. At this point, all four tanks will have grabbed three green slimes. When the slimes get close to each other, they will cast fusion. 
This cast should be allowed to go through and not interrupted. Then Tank 1 will grab two slimes from the hallway and bring it back to the northeast room. They should allow the bigger green slime to merge with the two smaller slimes and position the slime on the platform. At this point, the slime will have five slimes merged together. All the other slime tanks will do the same thing, grab two slimes and bring it back to the room and let them merge. At this point, the slime only needs one more green slime to make it enrage. Keep in mind that at this size, the green slime moves extremely slowly, so we will have the assigned room healer pick up one slime from the corridor. I recommend not using a dot to pull the slime as you can lose aggro. Healers should therefore make sure to establish aggro by using Glare, Broil or Malefic. Then, the healer should bring the slime to the far corner of the room indicated by this diagram. This is because if you are too close to the green slimes in the hallway, they can randomly aggro onto you, which will result in slimes fusing that we don't want to fuse. So, stay in the corners I've indicated depending on your room. Once it is confirmed that all tanks have their slimes on their platforms, and that healers have one slime each and in position, the raid leader will call for all slime tanks to grab their healer slime. Use provoke to ensure this, pulling the healer slime towards your bigger slime. You may need to wiggle your slime around to initiate the fusion cast. Make sure it does this on the platform at all costs, as all four tank slimes must enrage at the same time. When the sixth and final slime has finished fusing, it will enrage and cast rupture, which is a massive AoE. All players will exit through the north door and head as far east onto the bridge as it allows. This is to avoid the massive AoE that is about to go off. If you are too close to the rupture AoE, you will take high damage and get a ruin stack. Make sure to kill any Boshan soldiers or red slimes on the way. Both slimes and golem side want to finish around the same time, otherwise reapers will spawn in and begin wiping the raid. If everything was done correctly, all four green platforms will light up, and you can make your way to the teleportation platform on the bridge to take you to Trinity Seeker, which is the first boss of DRS. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to do so in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads, and you can also find me live over on Twitch. Thank you for watching and take care.